Bruce Roberts. I'm involved with the, the professors. Uh, old school, rock and roll. Barry Hayden, original, or well, he wasn't the original. Now, I, that I didn't know. He wasn't the original singer for the Dantes. Because Len, I think, who was an original member, was telling me that the guy who he took the, his place claimed that you, you'll, you'll never replace me. I think the guitar player maybe said the same thing. And they got Barry Hayden and Dave Workman. So, you know, obviously those two numbskulls didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Billy Zinn uh, Clay Biggs on drums. Billy plays bass, sings. Don Groner sings. He's playing acoustic guitar now. It was a band called The Mods. And uh, the drummer, Bill Scholler's dad, was the chief of police at the time. And uh, the, Jim Bates was the guitar player. I was the singer. I don't even think we had, I don't remember if we, it might have been a guy named Mike McClid or Mark McClid, one of the, these two twin brothers that I went to middle school with, and a guy named Mike Atkins, probably 64 maybe, you know, because I was just starting to play, I knew a few chords on guitar, but didn't have a guitar, or didn't get a guitar for a few, a couple years, you know, but my dad had a, Acoustic guitar, but I don't remember it having six strings. <laughs> it was kind of abused. In fact, it eventually got stepped on in a boating trip up Lake Erie. Somebody, you know, probably had a fish on it. Went back and oh, sorry about that, Ralph. <laughs> but we did Rolling Stones. I remember our, our our claim to fame was we played at, at probably the fireworks in '64 at uh, Whetstone. And people were throwing money up, you know, chains and stuff. And you know, I was doing my Mick Jagger imitation with the, you know, the maracas and stuff. And uh, it was a fun time. And we get a big charge. We're like people as far as you can see because it was the Fourth of July.